everyone, my name is Nina Camplin and I'm the online arts facilitator for the VC Gallery. Um, welcome to another one of my uh, live watch parties and today I'm going to be painting a New Forest Pony. This is based on, um, it's a photograph that I actually took in the New Forest a few years ago and I have actually done a painting from this in the past. Um, but today I'm going to attempt to paint this using just three colours. So it's actually just one colour but with black and white. Okay so I'm just using cadmium yellow and I think that's just a process black and titanium white and I've got my blank canvas here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this uh, camera and I'm going to flip the camera to use on the other side. Right so to start with I'm going to put down a, a base and for this I'm using the cadmium yellow and the titanium white and I'm just going to mix them together but by using the paintbrush in one and then the other. So I'm going to start off with the yellow. And then I'm just going to use white. So I've got a background down now. And then what I'm actually going to do, I can show you this. I'm going to take a little bit of the, the black, just want a tiny bit, and then I'm going to mix that in with the yellow. And I really want to just use a small amount as possible. And then I'm going to start putting in the, um, the ground. I'm starting about halfway down the canvas, and I'm just doing small vertical strokes coming down. It's quite pale, so there's not there is not much black in this mix at all, it's mostly yellow. And then as I come down, I'm just gonna start adding a little bit more black to it. Don't want it to go too strong too too soon. can see that it's very easy to saturate the black too quickly. I don't mind it being a bit darker over on this side. If you find that you've added too much black in, just, just use the yellow on its own because it will still have black on the brush. And then while I've got this, um, this darker colour on the brush, I'm going to just put some uh, darker shading into the sky as well. Now I'm going to uh, switch to a smaller brush and I'm going to start putting in the, um, got some distant shrubbery that I want to add in the, in the background. So slightly darker again, still not going all the way to black, still using mostly yellow. So if I show you the mix here, it's not that dark. I'm going to start putting in, it's just below the top of the horizon line. In fact I might go back to the other brush. This brush is a lot more it's old and, and knackered and it's a lot better for doing foliage I find. And then back to the thick brush to put some dark shading underneath this. And now we have some distant shrubbery. Then I'm going to put the um, the tree in. Um, in the original photograph, it's literally it's just leaves that come in from the front. But on this, I wanted to put in a, a trunk because I think it frames the picture better. I'm going to go with just the black on this. The trunk. It's going to start a bit further down, so come down to about here, and then go just up 
and off the top of the canvas. And have another branch coming out of there. And then I want to bring the branches across so they come around the top of the pony. This is yellow and white. I've got a bit of sun reflecting onto the side of the trunk. Okay, I'm now going to put the pony in. I'm using a fine brush and the black on its own. So I'm going to start off by drawing three circles. I'll go back to the large brush again for this. So three circles, interlocking, and then fill them in. And I feel they need to be a bit bigger. coming down. I don't want the horse to be floating in the air so he needs to be believable so that he's on the ground in front of the shrubbery. Nifoy's ponies are invariably eating grass so they've nearly always got their head down to the ground. So I'm going to put the head in coming down from the top of this first circle coming down to the ground. And then another circle for the head, just there, small circle with an elongated part for the nose. And then when you um, start putting the legs in, it's really easy to go too heavy on the legs so I find it's always good to start by making the legs way too thin because then you can always thicken them and the front legs come down from below the shoulders so you've got one coming down like this and then one like this and then the back legs come out at a kind of angle from the back if you follow the circle around and then when you get down to there you go around the opposite way and in this original picture the back legs were together and it looked like he's only got three legs so I actually separated them by putting another one in front like that So we've got a basic horse shape there, but he's still not looking very new forest pony-like at the moment. First of all, I need to sort the back out. So instead of having the three circles there, the back tends to be a bit... It dips in the middle. You get the, the shoulders coming up, and then it dips down, and then it goes around to the back and the air and the tail at the back. And then the belly tends to be a bit more rounded. So the middle circle needs to be spread out and emphasised a bit more. And, and then we need a tail, which comes down from nearly from the top of the circle. And we'll just have an ear sticking up there. So, pretty much there. I think the stomach's still a bit flat looking. There, there we go. Now he looks a bit stumpy. Um, in, the, in the original picture you can't see his feet because they're in the grass. So I'm going to add a shadow in under the horse, or the pony I should say. 
and I'm going to go back to the flat brush and I'm not going to use black on its own, I'm going to use a bit of the yellow with it again so we've got kind of a dark yellow and I'm just going to put a shadow in below the horse and this will go all the way to his face and you can see now how that doesn't match if he hasn't got proper hooves on the bottom of his legs and if you do make a mistake on the horse and you need to change it you can always use the background to refine it as well by going in with the yellow where it's um where it's dark if you want to define the leg or the head a bit more you can always make the background a bit lighter around it um, so I'm just going to put some more bits of foliage in around the tree I think so around here I'll just have a, let's have a small twig growing up here and we can put some more shrubs in in the foreground and then we could also put some foliage in on the tree so this is again it's just using mixes of the black and the yellow There we have a landscape with a new forest pony. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching that, that demonstration. Um, if you do want to give it a go yourself, please do post your pictures to the VC Gallery um, Facebook page because we'd love to see them. And I will be with you again next week. Bye.